Right, um, welcome uh, and to some of you, welcome back to the second part of the Seals and the Pe People of Britain conference. Uh, I would say it's it's lovely to see everyone, but of course, at the moment, I can only see myself. Um, but uh, wherever you are, uh, uh, I'm very glad that you're joining us. I'm also welcoming you today uh, as chair of Sigilum, the international network for the study of seals, which has been supporting the uh, convening of this conference. Uh, and indeed the idea of the conference emerged from a sigillum meeting some time ago. The, there is information about sigillum in your conference pack uh, and membership is open to anyone. So please do take a look at the website and there are a number of open access resources there as well. I'd also like to start by thanking again the Society of Antiquaries for hosting this conference. It's been fantastic to be able to run the conference in conjunction with the Society, especially in its revised online form. Uh, and particular thanks again to Danielle for all her uh, amazing assistance and support. Uh, including behind the scenes today. Now, as I said last week in the first session, John Cherry and I are particularly pleased that this conference is bringing together a, a, a wide range of perspectives and particularly focusing on non-noble and personal rather than official seals, although those, those will be included as well. And there is, uh, of course, a lot to say about those types. But non-noble personal seals are uh, uh, the majority of material, but have historically received the least attention. So it's, it's really good to see a conference focused in that area. And also, we're, we were particularly keen when we were discussing the ideas of the conference to move the discussion away from just being England and Wales with a token bit of the rest of, of Britain and largely, um, sad to say, uh, excluding Ireland from the conversation. So particularly pleased that today's session is going to be predominantly looking at and thinking about seals and sealing practices in Scotland and Ireland, uh, although we will be hearing about the situation in England and probably Wales as well today. Now I'm going to hand over to John Cherry in a moment and he will then chair the rest of the session, uh, although I'll join him very briefly at the end. As we did last week, we'd ask questions to be put in chat. Uh, because of the numbers involved, it's, it's really not logistically possible to allow people to ask in person, particularly with um, unreliable internet, etc. So if you do have a question, please put that in chat. If you could try and reserve those towards the end of the paper, that's useful. But if you if you think, oh, I'm going to forget if I don't put it in now, then please do just just ask something. The second, the whole session uh, and last week's session are being recorded and they will be available on the uh, Society of Antiquaries and then the Sigillum YouTube channels, uh, first as blocks and then divided up into the separate papers, possibly without the questions. So again, if you miss something or you missed last week's, please have a look at the, the YouTube channels. <coughs> uh, the resources pack you should have if you've registered, if you're watching this on YouTube or after the event, you will be able to find some of those resources on the Society of Antiquaries website under events. So they will be available, um, not the entire pack. You'll only have that if you have formally registered, uh, but there will be ongoing resources. And we're also hoping that this uh, conference will lead uh, in, in time to further resources and, and possibly other events and outreach uh, on a similar subject. So I'm delighted now to introduce uh, 
my co-convener John Cherry, who I'm sure majority of, of those joining this, this conference will either know personally or will certainly be very familiar with his work. Uh, John's work has been hugely important in the study of seals, especially in medieval Britain, but far beyond that as well. Uh, and indeed post-medieval, which uh, is an understudied area. John is a long time keeper at the British Museum and more recently has been working with the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford. Uh, and he published a, a discursive catalogue about the Rawlinson collection of seals, uh, and especially seal matrices held at the Ashmolean uh, a couple of years ago. So that is definitely worth seeking out if, if you're not aware of it. So without further ado, John, I'm going to hand over to you and switch switch my microphone and video off but uh, i will come back in as we agreed just at the end so over to you